Lewis and Cross Watchers. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Hope everyone is doing well. Today we are going to take a look at your I Spy Tarot reading for the month of March. Please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. You're more than welcome to check other signs in your birth chart. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title, there's most likely something in the message. Also, time and energy is fluid. So you might find that this has already happened, or a lot of times people will say it happened at a later time. However, I do ask if you find the messages helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like future messages, feel free to subscribe as everyone is always welcome. So let's get started here, Aquarius. Let's do a little blessing and then we'll tap into the energies with the wisdom of the house of night. Please spirit, we thank you for the most positive and guiding message for our subscribers. Please allow positive guidance through whatever our friends need to hear. Please protect me, the viewer, and the cards from any negative energies. And thank you again, Spirit. Blessed be. So, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Let's see what the energy surrounding you is here for the month of March. Message here for Aquarius Spirit. What does Aquarius need to see? The Grove. This card symbolizes healing. It's like going to the secret garden and resting, rejuvenating. Kind of like um, a Four of Swords energy almost. Let's see. resting from something that has taken a toll on you, probably taken a toll on some area in your life, whether it's relationships, career, home, health, okay, maybe all of it, but I feel like it's left you guarded, the underlying energy is guarded, and I feel like there may be a little bit of resistance to this healing process that needs to take place. Okay. So let's see here, Aquarius, what we can see for you, because I do feel like you have the strength. You have what it takes to get through this healing process. It may seem daunting. I get it. Um, Self-discovery is never easy because we have to be very real with ourselves at times and bring up situations that we might have otherwise rather had forgotten. So let's see what the tarot has to say here. Use the golden tarot this time for you, Aquarius. The first couple cards are going to tap into the energy, the situation at hand what exactly is going on here. We're going to also look at the other person's intentions. How do they feel here? What are they not telling you? And then some advice. So let's see here, Aquarius. Most important message for Aquarius spirit. What does Aquarius need to see for the month of March? card please spirit i feel like there's definitely some delays and i feel like it's due to not having a plan here not being organized and maybe even ignoring the process So I also, as I was saying, there needs to be healing, okay? Four of Swords energy. There also needs to be 
a sense here of getting grounded. Also, maybe getting stable, getting into a routine, self-care or otherwise. I feel like that's what's going to be beneficial here. There needs to be some sort of routine that you're in, okay? I feel like this routine is going to bring in balance, okay? It's also going to open the doors for a new opportunity, okay? So I'm going to take a look at what your person's true intentions are here, okay? What are the true intentions behind all of this, okay? Now this could be for you, including another person. Now this other person could be a friend, family, a lover. It could also be a coworker, a boss, anybody who is close to you, Aquarius. So let's see, because we have the Ace of Pentacles coming out. This is an offer in a financial offer, a lot of time, abundant offer, very stable, very grounded offer. These two cards also symbolize new beginnings, okay? So I feel like Aquarius, whoever is coming towards you, is offering you not only a stable, grounded offer, I feel like they feel here that this is a deep connection. And I get the sense here, Aquarius, that they feel like this is their soulmate connection. You're their soulmate. You're their twin flame. You're their life partner. Okay. What else do we need to know about this spirit? What else? feel like there's, I want to say commitment issues. It's the first thing that comes to my mind. They may be afraid to commit. Mm -hmm. There's some type of karmic cycle that they're having to release. I feel like they're, this person needs healing as well. Balance, star, and temperance are very similar in their energies. Um, they're very close to one another as well. Right? 16 and 17. One right after the other. The star is also your energy, Aquarius. But I feel like this is symbolizing here your partner wants this connection. Um, they feel a deep connection with you. And I feel like... They want to bring this together, but I feel like they're uncertain how, and this is causing them a lot of stress. I feel like they may need to let go of some outdated belief systems within relationships, and they may very well know this or think this in their head, but I feel like they're uncertain on how to move forward, okay? Let's take a look here, Aquarius, at this person's feelings, okay? How do they really feel in this situation? What are their feelings towards you, right? How do they truly feel here, spirit, towards Aquarius? How does Aquarius' partner, person coming in, truly feel in this connection. There's some anxiety around <clears throat> commitment is what I'm sensing here, Aquarius. Something, whether this is with you or with another person, something has them kind of looking back on the past and not wanting that to happen again. Mm -hmm. I 
how do they really feel here, spirit? I feel like this is their fears coming out. This is their fears. They're afraid to lose this connection. And so there's a thing here, Aquarius, that whenever a person is has a fear of losing a person, they're going to display this, the Knight of Wands. They're going to display this very fiery, very passion, passionate connection in the beginning, and then they'll just leave or disappear. And I feel like this, they want to take this to the next level, but they're afraid of what could happen about if this is going to end or not. If you're going to be able to work together, if you're going to be able to bring this connection together to sustain the next level. Get one more card out here let's see one more card spirit for how they really feel here please and thank you yes this is the deceit card the seven of swords also symbolizes kind of like sneaking out the back door um sneaking away before they can they or you have a chance to make a decision it's basically the same energy as the knight of wands okay really deceptive sneaky sneaking around always looking over their shoulder and the reason why is because they're keeping themselves at a distance for a reason, okay? And it's because of the sphere of commitment here, okay? So let's see here, Aquarius, what are they not telling you? What is hidden in this connection? What are they hiding here, spirit, from Aquarius? So they may have had an, a connection, a similar connection somewhere else. We have the Ten of Cups coming out in reversed. We also have the Two of Pentacles with the Lovers and the Page of Swords in reverse. So I feel like here, Aquarius, um, seek more information. Okay, look a little bit deeper into this or at least ask them more questions about this past connection. Get clarity, it's okay if this is a strong of connection as they feel and as you feel, then there shouldn't be any worries. There shouldn't be any issues about you asking questions, okay? Now, if they are, reluctant to answer questions or don't want to give information that's a sign that they're withholding information but I do feel like they are hiding this family connection they're keeping it very secret and I feel like it is very daunting very heavy for them to carry this they I feel like they may tiptoe around that may be why they sneak around is because they're trying to hide this past connection oh that's interesting they could also have some financial ties with this person as well that would cause some rifts in their life if this dissolved in the wrong way so there's going to be a need here Aquarius to um, seek more information ask more questions at least okay let's get a couple cards here for the advice clear the space clear the space I know some readers don't clear the space I debated but I feel like 
I just like using, I like using the same deck because it's the same channeled energy. And it's like, this is Aquarius's deck. And then when I go to a, a different sign, I'll use a different deck. So let's see here, Aquarius, for your advice here, moving forward in this connection, right? What is the advice for Aquarius spirit moving forward? Please and thank you. Most important message here for Aquarius moving forward. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Coins. However you want to call her. So the Hermit was kind of sideways. So we'll take it in the upright. But it could also mean get out and mingle a little bit. Okay. Maybe push yourself in out of your comfort zone. But really what I'm getting here, Aquarius, is the need for self-care. Okay, focusing on self. Taking the focus back on yourself. And really paying attention here with this person. Seeking more information. Okay. This person may come forward with the information. This may already be something that you know, okay? And they may just be having some rifts within that situation. Whatever the case may be here, you guys can get through this, okay? I do see this is something that's very straining on this connection, okay? So there's an air of acceptance here. Really going within and just... Working on self, focusing on self, your self-care routine, your, maybe your hobbies, um, what it is that you like to do in your spare time. Be cautious, okay? Maybe need, needing to step back from this person for a little bit, at least withholding your energy is going to be beneficial. Maybe there's going to be some travel here, getting some space, taking some space, but ultimately, Aquarius, there's an air of healing that needs to take place. And this could be a hard decision to make, but it's going to be necessary if you want to see results moving forward. Get this power thought card out here for you guys. We will do the extended. Extended, we will take a look into the next steps moving forward. As well as if there's any messages from Spirit. Pull out the Psychic Tarot, the Guidance cards, and the Soul Truth. If that's something that you are wanting to get into the link will be below. The card that is coming out for you, Aquarius, is Freedom is my divine right. I am free to think wonderful thoughts. I move beyond past limitations into freedom. I am now becoming all that I am created to be. Freedom is my divine right. So, Aquarius, that is the message I have coming out for you guys. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.